Warning. It is important that prior to performing this or any other safety or service procedure on any HAL product that the person performing the work has both read and firmly understands the parts and service manual as well as the product operator's manual, including the detailed safety instructions that accompanied this vehicle. If there is anything that is unclear or that you don't understand, do not attempt to operate the vehicle or perform any of the service or maintenance tasks called out in this video. Quarantine the area, lock out and tag out the vehicle, walk away, and contact your supervisor immediately for clarification. It is also important to ensure you are wearing the appropriate personal protective equipment, hereafter referred to as PPE, prior to beginning this or any other service or maintenance procedure. Hey, I'm Travis Wallen, the service guru here at Howell Environmental in beautiful Fort Payne, Alabama. Thanks for joining me at the Service Shack. Today we're going to show you how to calibrate the latest Heil automated side loader, the Command SST. The Command SST combines the proven Durapack body with a body mounted arm and Odyssey hydraulic controls to create an ASL that features a smooth arm cycle and simplistic maintenance. To learn more about this new Heil automated side loader, visit www.heil.com. Now let's get started with the calibration of your Command SST. Important. Calibration mode is used when recalibrating your unit and replacing hydraulic components, but it should only be used by authorized service personnel. To begin, clear the area of all unnecessary personnel, chalk the tires, and quarantine the workspace. Note: Ensure you have enough overhead clearance to safely operate the lift arm. Next, use three points of contact to climb into the cab of the truck, start the engine, make sure the parking brake is applied, and place your unit into operating condition. Then ensure that the packer is fully retracted, and the coordinated mode push button control is in the off position. The illuminated light will be solid blue if it is in the off position. Use the Heil Insight Diagnostic Display to navigate to the Unit Calibration screen and follow the displayed instructions. If you need the passcode to access this screen, contact Heil Technical Services at 866-310-4345. Caution: Serious component damage can occur during the calibration process. If you're unsure of how to perform any of these steps, Contact Howl Technical Services at 866-310-4345. Now you can exit the cab using three points of contact and locate the manual side push button control panel to begin the calibration process. First, enable the manual controls by pressing Enable on the side push button control panel. Next, use the down and in push buttons to place the lift arm in the full down and full in position. Place the grabbers in the fully open position by pressing the release push button. Place the grabber head level. This sets the home position for the cylinders and the level position for the grabber beam. Press OK and then press OK again to confirm the position. Carefully move the arm to where it is clear of the body. Caution: There are no interlocks during this stage. Once the arm is clear of the body, press the undump push button to move the head to the full undump position. This sets the full undump position of the grabber beam. Press OK and then press OK again to confirm the position. Press the dump push button to move the head to the full dump position. This sets the full dump position of the grabber beam. Press OK and then press OK again to confirm the position. Press the up and out push buttons to place the arm in the fully raised and fully extended position. Close the grabbers to the fully closed position by pressing the grab push button. This sets the max extended position for these cylinders. Press OK, then press OK again to confirm the position. 
Press the end push button to retract the arm approximately halfway. This allows for accurate visibility of the grabber beam. Using the undump push button, place the grabber beam in the level position. This sets the upper value for the grabber beam level position. Press OK, then press OK again to confirm the position. Use the up, out, dump, and grab push buttons to extend each cylinder approximately halfway. This will provide the needed movement for calibration. Press OK to confirm the position. Note, each valve section will take time to perform this task and will be different from truck to truck based on the lift valve and counterbalance valve crack points and how much flow each cylinder will require to move. Press and hold the dump push button until the grabber beam starts to move in the dump direction. Press OK to confirm the position. Press and hold the undump push button until the grabber beam starts to move in the undump direction. Press OK to confirm the position. Press and hold the up push button until the arm starts to move in the up direction. Press OK to confirm the position. Press and hold the down push button until the arm starts to move in the down direction. Press OK to confirm the position. Press and hold the out push button until the arm starts to move in the out direction. Press OK to confirm the position. Press and hold the in push button until the arm starts to move in the in direction. Press OK to confirm the position. Press and hold the grab push button until the grabbers start to move into the closed direction. Press OK to confirm the position. Press and hold the release push button until the grabbers start to move into the open direction. Press OK to confirm the position. Place the arm back into the cradle or home position. And then climb back into the cab using three points of contact. Press and hold the Packer Extend push button until the packer is at the pack position approximately 1625 to 1700. Make sure that the black rubber pad on the back of the follower panel does not have a gap between it and the packer floor. Press OK to confirm the position. Press and hold the packer extend push button until the packer is at the travel position approximately 1900 to 2000. Press OK to confirm the position. Place the packer approximately halfway between the home and pack positions. Press OK to confirm the position. Press and hold the packer extend push button until the packer starts to move into the out or extend pack direction. Press OK to confirm the position. Press and hold the packer retract push button until the packer starts to move into the in or retract position. Press OK confirm the position. Once you have confirmed the final calibration position, you will return to the home screen on your Heil Insight diagnostic display. This means that you have completed the calibration process. Finally, test the operations of the lift arm to ensure it is operating as designed. That's it. Now you know how to calibrate the Command SST automated side loader from Heil. If you have any questions, contact Heil Technical Services at 866-310-4345. Remember, we're here to help in any way we can. So be safe out there, and we'll see you next time here at the Service Shack.